Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do a review on uh, menstrual cups. I've been using mine now for just over a year and I've learned a few tips and tricks and ways that make it work for me. So I thought I was going to come on and show you, you know, what works for me. Um, if you've got any questions and that, leave them down below because I can always answer you down there if, you know, I don't cover anything that you might be having a problem with. I'm a, by no means a professional. I'm just somebody who at the grand old age of almost 45 has finally figured out how to use one of these things. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my other camera on so that you can see my hands as well. So it's me sort of holding them up. So <clears throat> this is my, um, this is my menstrual cup nine times out of ten cups come with a stem normally it's just like a uh like a twiggy type thing at the bottom it might have a little ball on it or any you know to aid you getting hold of it um the marulas come with what looks like a little ladder now i cut my stems off because even though i have quite a high cervix the stem digs into the walls of my vagina and is actually quite uncomfortable so yeah it's it's quite easy literally just get a pair of scissors and cut it off make sure you don't go through the cup though okay um and that and that's it and i've had lots of questions about well first off how do you manage with nails that long um yeah that's something i'm going to show you uh, another question that came up today was somebody posted in um a cup <sighs> group on facebook um how do you all manage to get several fingers up there to get hold of it blah, blah, blah. i don't use one finger it's my forefinger and that's it so that's something else i'm going to show you so first off insertion of the cup um there are loads of different folds there is the c fold which is that one there's the punch down fold which sort of kind of goes like that but i i personally can never get it to work there's the seven fold which goes down like that another good one um there's loads i use the c fold okay and then i watched several videos that said insert it you know straight in so i used to insert it like that okay with the the fold pointing up towards my chin and i could never get it to open so then i thought i'll turn it around do it the other way so it would the fold bit would be facing upwards and the two bits would be facing down towards the toilet bowl yes and then up towards my back as i'm putting it in again i couldn't get it to open i thought this is ridiculous and then somebody saw maybe your your style cup doesn't ping open easily well it does it does really so then i came up with the idea of putting it in sorry about that with the fold sideways like that now there were two reasons for this because i thought first off if it doesn't ping open i can always insert a finger so if you imagine this is it sitting in my vagina i can always insert a finger like this and push on the wall of my vagina to give the cup room to open that by the way is just hard water it needs my cup needs boiling so i started doing that literally just fold it in half like that and put it up with the 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 two fold bits facing one of your legs okay it also helps if i do it sitting on the toilet you can do it in the shower um you can do it there's 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 loads of different you can squat on the floor you know whatever works for you yeah try that i personally i sit on the toilet yeah you want to open your legs as far as you can <laughs> it sounds sounds dreadful open your legs as far as you can and then I've got one of those steps that children use for getting on big toilets um, up in my bathroom because I have a five-year-old. So what I do is um, I put one of my feet up on that. Now, it's only the difference of about that much, about a foot, but I put my right leg on that. So I put my right leg on that and I have the fold that way facing my left hip. Yeah. And I put it in and I push and it just pops the minute I let go. So how do I do it all with just one finger? Well, first off, I fold it, put my leg up, <laughs> and 
and then if you imagine that this is my vaginal cavern it goes in like that as far as I can with two fingers okay now nine times out of ten it pops when I let go here okay you can just see it starting to because your vagina accommodates it okay then what I do is I get one finger and I push I push 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 until it's gone past my pubic bone now one of the first things you're told in um, any of the how to measure your cervix quizzes is to find your cervix I've never found my cervix okay I've never mainly because I'm not going in there probing with these things but um I've never touched my cervix I know my cervix is high because the midwife's told me so but your cervix moves during your period okay you might normally have a high cervix but during your period your cervix may drop right down low I can never feel my cervix I go in past my pubic bone okay so it'll come in if you imagine my thumb is my pubic bone and I push up until it's just gone past that if the cup doesn't open by this point I slide a finger in well usually it'll be that way okay because as you slide in your finger now will hit the bottom of the cup and will automatically go around it in such a tight space so you come in you literally slide your finger in and then as it hits the cup because of the shape of the cup your finger will go around it and then what I do is I go up the side and I push on the vaginal wall to give the cup room to open. Now the next thing you're looking for is for your cup to suction, not to your cervix, because that'll hurt, but to the walls of your vagina. It suctions outwards, yeah, not upwards. So it's not this bit here that suctions, it is this bit the outside of your cup it doesn't have to open fully you can see that's not open but there's no gaps okay but of course it does work better if it is fully open it doesn't matter if it's not your vagina is not perfectly round okay how to get it to suction because a lot of them will tell you to put your fingers in and give it a twist as I said my cervix sits really high up okay when my cup is fully inserted I can insert my finger all the way into my vagina and only just touch my cup okay I literally cannot I, can't, I couldn't get hold of it with two fingers if I tried okay so what I do is I put my finger into there and then I push down like I'm gonna have a bowel movement or bearing down as if you're having a baby push down okay your vaginal muscles will push the cup but I don't allow it to move it. I push it down and I push it back up and I push it down and I push it back up and I push it down and I push it back up and that will suction it into place. Okay? So it's been sat in there for several hours. It's caught everything and it's time to take it out. How do I do it? As I said, I can't get hold of it. I don't insert more than one finger. So how do I do it? Well, it's that pushing motion again. You push down, okay? bear down really as if you're going to go I advise you to go to the toilet before you try to remove your cup okay otherwise you might end up needing sanitizer <laughs> but um yeah it, it, urinate you can urinate you can defecate you can do all of that while your cup is inside you okay if you have to push hard to have a bowel movement then there's something wrong with your diet okay you shouldn't have to push hard to open your bowels okay if you've opened your bowels and you think my cup slipped a little bit stick a finger in and push it back up all right but if you want to remove your cup it's best to do it while you don't need to go to the toilet so go have a wee open your bowels if you need to clean yourself up now get on to removing so i stick a finger in and i always go so i think how i do it i always go up this side so up by my left hip I use my right hand again I've got my foot up and I lean with this elbow on the end of my knee on the end of my left knee okay so left elbow on left knee right foot my leg is open as far as I can get it and my right foot is on a step okay I lean forward and I put my finger in now it's usually it's about there when it's inside so by this point bear down with my vaginal muscles and the cup will move down a little bit to about there so I've got about that much in now what you want to do is push on the side of the cup see that see what it's doing it does help I've got long nails but push like that 
and what that does is that breaks the seal you must break the seal especially if you have an iud otherwise the suction of the cup is going to dislodge your iud and it will hurt it's not very pleasant trying to remove the cup but trying to remove it without breaking the suction first is very 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 unpleasant so i break the seal i get my breath and i push down again all right by this point i've probably got about that much in and as you can see my fingers digging in the hole there like that so now what i do is i push with my vaginal muscles and i pull down on this little ridge that i've made with my finger I pull it down basically until i've started to what we call birth the cup so the cup will be sticking out of my vagina like that enough so that i can actually get hold of it okay I then proceed to pull it out by which point it's like this I'm don't forget I am sat on the toilet while I'm doing this and then all I do is I tip it that way towards my body to what we call dump dump the contents down the loo now I'm very very lucky in my bathroom there is a sink right next to me so what I do is I make sure that it's completely finished emptying it's not going to drip or anything like that bring it up bring it up move it over to the sink and i rinse it off i clean it off wash my hands wash the cup fold it and start all over again okay it is really really that simple the biggest thing that is going to stop you having a successful cup insertion is you it really is because your own nerves make you tense which then makes all of your inside do this one of the first things that happens when somebody is tense is that they get constipated and that's why because your muscles all do this they go no no i'm not gonna work I'm not gonna work. try inserting a cup into something that's rigid that's closed up like that it's not gonna it doesn't matter how small you make that cup it's not gonna happen okay relax relax if you don't get it right take it out and try again if you find insertion uncomfortable if it hurts a little bit putting it in and all that lot get a lube you want a water-based lube it has to be water-based any other kind of lube will um, possibly damage your cup okay a little bit around the top don't completely smother the thing otherwise it's going to slide about and you're going to have trouble holding on to it but a little bit around the top around the edge around the rim bit and then insert it in okay the rest of it should follow quite easily once you are in okay because the lube your, your vaginal walls will spread the lube down the cup as you insert it okay you can go to the toilet without any trouble with your cup in you can go swimming with your cup in because it's suctioned it is suctioned to the walls of your vagina there is very very little that will escape if anything okay so you don't have to worry about public swimming pools the only time i would advise you to check whether your cup has moved is if you've had a bowel movement and you've pushed a little bit check your cup if you've coughed or sneezed or anything like that anything that means your internal muscles go uh, uh, check your cup okay i recently <laughs> read about one woman on one of these groups and um she sneezed in her car totally dislodged her cup by the time she arrived at work it was bloodbath in her car because she dislodged the cup that much that yeah it leaked and she was on her heaviest day so yeah they are easy to use honestly okay there's so many people on the groups that are going i'm too scared to try i'm too scared to try why why are you scared what what have you got to be scared of seriously give it a try okay if if you can't get on with the seafold which is the probably the most common one try researching menstrual cup folds okay and see what other folds there are that are out there like i said there's the seven fold which is that one i've used that one a couple of times okay and it's called the seven fold because it goes across and then down all right like that well you can do it 
it's that that's more of a seven but you know i found that too wide for me so i did it a few times where i folded it like that oh, that's not seven but i can't remember what that's called okay there's that one there's the punch down fold which i showed you before where you push one one end right down yeah and it goes in like that i found that bit uncomfortable insertion on me um this is before i discovered about putting it in sideways so i might try it again but that ridge is quite hard if you've got a firm cup um what else i'm just trying to think i can't think of anything else <laughs> so yeah give it a try honestly do try them if if you're not squeamish there are trading groups for cups okay because some people take take several goes before they try what is called their goldilocks which is which is the cup that works the best for them um i this is a tulip cup i found this in an advert on um facebook and they were advertising them uh buy one get one free or a double pack for for you know quite quite a good amount so i bought one for me and one for my daughter um she didn't get on with it and i don't know what she did with it but she's gotten rid of hers now she's got a little little mini i think hers is called a mermaid cup or something and it's very small but her cycle's lighter than mine so you know she can cope quite well without it um this also came with a reusable pad as well which you know i personally don't like but it, they're, they're, it's handy to have pads while you're learning to get used to your cup it is all about staying relaxed if it doesn't work for you sitting on the toilet try it squatting in the shower that's one uh, one thing that a lot of people do but the key thing is relax honestly relax stay calm and just 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 do it <laughs> okay just take some time out when nobody else is in the house and you know you're not going to get disturbed you can and the good thing is is you can do dry runs with these you do not have to wait until your period starts okay so like a few days before you can go up and give it a try put it in see if it works see if it's comfortable okay if it's not comfortable you can take it out and you can try again okay you can do what is called a dry run with these and wear it for the day and see see what that's like um i know quite a few people that if they know their cycle is due if if they if they can predict that that completely um you know if they know for example my cycle is due to start today actually um but i might not start today it might not start till tomorrow so what some people do is they would insert it now and just leave it in there and check it later cup can last you 12 hours provided you're not super 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 duper heavy i can go 12 hours with my cup quite easily um i get up in the morning i remove my cup i go to the toilet I clean my cup and it goes back in and it's there all day long i change my cup twice a day the next time i change it i do it about half an hour before i go to bed and the reason i do it about half an hour before i go to bed is so that i can move about i go upstairs i change my cup or i change my cup you know what i mean i i remove dump clean and reinsert and then i will go about closing the house down you know locking all the doors turning the heating off go back upstairs and wash my face brush my teeth and all that lot in that time if my cup hasn't moved because sometimes i don't get it right and it will slip you know if my cup hasn't moved i'm good for the night and i just go to bed if my cup has moved i will remove it reinsert it and make sure it's in place and then i'll move about a little bit again before i go to bed and once it's in that's fine the other good thing is in the morning when you get up to go to the loo first thing in the morning you do not get that gush feeling that you get with pads okay it, because it's all contained into the cup so you don't get that that gushy feeling you don't get that horrible you know that that horrible wet damp feeling you don't you and a lot of people have reported that they get a lot less cramps using a cup personally that's not something i have found that i don't suffer from menstrual cramps thank god but quite a lot of people have said oh yeah i get a lot less menstrual cramps now that i use a cup they're better for the environment and they're cheaper this thing cost me 20 quid some of them are i think quite expensive but yeah this one cost me 20 quid i've now used it for 15 cycles 
That's 15 cycles where I've not bought tampons, I've not used towels, I've not used panty liners, anything like that. I've not bought any menstrual products for just over a year. So you work out how long a box of tampons lasts you during a period and how much they cost. I don't even know how much they cost now. And how much that works out at over a year. I've spent 20 quid. And that's it. What do I wash it in? I wash it in hot water in my faucet. And then every few months, I'll boil it. Uh, this one came with a container that you can put it in and you fill it up with, you put it in that way into the container you fill it, the cup and the container up with water and then you just stick it in the microwave which is brilliant you just stick it in the microwave for a few, few minutes until the water boils the other thing you can do is um, use a saucepan but if you boil your cup make sure it's not sitting in contact with your pan make sure it is either moving or a lot of people use a egg whisk because the egg whisk sits around it like that and then they can balance the whisk in the water without it and yeah, whatever i just use the container that my thing came in um most cups also come with a drawstring bag so you can sterilize your cup stick it in a bag and then stick it in your purse so if you know your period's due like if i was out for the day i would stick this in my in my handbag and my purse and then i've got it so if i'm out and about and i suddenly think oh i feel a bit you know and I have, I can go, right, that's fine, and, you know, done. It's a lot less messy. Once you've got the hang of it, um, a lot of people are worried about getting blood over their hands. A lot of people don't like the idea of touching themselves intimately while they're having a period. I suppose that must come from the thought that... Yeah. I mean, my parents weren't religious, but... I remember my mother being shocked at the idea of, of any intimate contact while on your period because you just, you just do that kind of thing <laughs> you know um so let's make me big again yeah she she thought you know you just didn't. and a lot of people seem to be a bit about doing that about actually putting their hands or fingers inside themselves while they're bleeding it's menstrual blood it's it's there's nothing wrong with it your body produced it just like there's nothing wrong with wiping your eyes when you cry okay it's a bit unpleasant maybe the first few times you do it you might if you drop the damn thing blood will go everywhere <laughs> you know but at the end of the day it is a product of your body don't be disgusted by it okay i get very 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 little on myself now okay i've also never dropped my cup uh, quite a few people I know have dropped the bloody things down the toilet at which point you do need to sterilize it okay because it's not clean if it hits the toilet but you may get a little on your finger or fingers if you use more than one that you insert to remove or insert your cup that is residual blood on your vaginal walls okay wash your hands especially wash your hands after you go to the toilet anyway wash your hands before you in, you remove your cup as well but you're supposed to wash your hands after you go to the toilet anyway especially at the moment because there's this coronavirus that's becoming quite concerning but you should be washing your hands anyway but with a menstrual cup wash your hands before and after okay because then you're making sure that any you're clean going into your body um if like me you wear acrylic nails or gel nails or nail polish scrub your nails okay have a nail brush upstairs scrub your cuticles and where your nails and the acrylic nails may meet because they'll be a gap because they are bacteria breeding grounds okay i think i've covered anything i can't think of anything else i should have written a script i never do i always get on and i waffle and i've been waffling now for a good 20 odd minutes um if you have any questions doesn't matter how or you may think if you're not comfortable leaving them down below okay my link tree is down below by all means feel free to private message me on instagram twitter or facebook okay if you start it off with menstrual cup question chances are i will i will open it <laughs> i don't tend to open a lot of them if i don't know where they're from because i've had a few weird ones lately but yeah start it off with menstrual cup question or period question or anything like that if you're not comfortable about leaving it publicly down below okay if you are comfortable by all means leave me comments questions suggestions anything like that down below i really really do appreciate any interaction 
anything you want to know. I'm not embarrassed to talk about it, okay? I think these things are brilliant and I'm disgusted that it took me as long as it did to discover them. I'd heard about them years and years and years ago and I was like, ugh. And, and like a lot of you, I thought, oh God, no, I'll not put my hand in there. I get covered in fucking blood. Since then, I've had five babies. <laughs> and, um, yeah, there's not much about bodily fluids that can put me off nowadays. <sighs> It's, it's, I am annoyed that it took me as long as what it did. Thankfully, a good sort of 12 years, I've been on birth control that meant I didn't need one. But when I think about all of my teenagerhood and all of my early 20s, when I could have been saving money by using one of these, yeah? I could have been saving money, I could have been helping the environment. Even if you're not big on, yeah, fuck the environment well that's fine that's that's entirely your prerogative but hey i bet you could do an extra couple of quid in your purse thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're a fantastic rest of your day uh please feel free to subscribe i don't do many of these kind of videos but hey if you want to know any more or if there's something you do want me to do a video about drop me a suggestion down below i'm up for it i normally do bullet journal art type videos but i'll i will talk to you about anything and everything um yeah, comments, questions, suggestions, all that down below. Click the book down in the bottom right hand corner and you will be subscribed. If you then click the bell, you've got, you can select all personal or none, I believe it is. Now, all will notify you to every video that I upload, which if you're not into art and bullet journal and all that lot, you probably won't want to know about. Um, if you are, hey, click the bell and select all. If you want personalised, I think that is for if I reply to you you will then um, get a notification or you can switch to none which then you shouldn't get any notifications at all okay i uh, hope that was helpful as well because i only found that out recently <laughs> uh, have a fantastic rest of your day guys and i will see you next time take it easy bye